One thing that, uh, well, we, we don't necessarily get asked so much, but I thought um, you guys might be interested is to hear a bit about um, the teachers, maybe about the two of us. Actually, we do get asked. We do get asked. About our story yeah. and like, how did we get to it and how did we meet and all sorts of interesting things. Um, yeah, maybe in a nutshell, from my side, um, I've been a very open to spiritual experiences and have had a lot of um, ecstatic and um, altered consciousness experiences since I was very small. And um, that led me to be a believer in the bigger sense, you could say. And um, of course, growing up in, um, in the German countryside, you would normally be Christian. So that's what happened to me as well. And I could very much relate to um, the feeling that I would get um, in church. Not so much um, maybe all the little details of it, but just the feeling of God, the feeling of uh, the greatness of the universe. The, I always felt a sense of belonging um, with nature and with just um, everything around me, basically. And. Um, after some uh, wilder teenage years and um, uh, moving out from home and getting to university and you know how it is, um, trying out all sorts of uh, different things in life, um, I felt a great need to discover the, the meaning of things, just like it was always something that was somehow alive inside of me. So I would go a lot uh, also to church and pray and also just read a lot of philosophy books and uh, talk with people that would be um, into spirituality or into philosophy and try to figure things out. And I had my little um, map of the universe of how everything works. And um, eventually one of my friends um, basically dragged me by the ears into a yoga session. I was not so convinced of yoga because in my understanding it was like a stretching exercise sort of situation. But then going to that yoga class and uh, getting in touch with uh, the spiritual knowledge that is shared within this global network of schools within the Atman Federation, um, it was so nourishing to me and um, brought about so many deep states within just very simple first sessions of doing some yoga and hearing a bit about spiritual uh, ideas and values. So for me it was clear that I wanted to do yoga so within a few um, weeks technically mm, I stopped smoking and stopped all sorts of other maybe substances that I may or may not have consumed and uh, stopped um, drinking and uh, coffee and all the non-yogi things and started to practice every day and uh, for me it was very evident that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life and yeah the rest is basically history. I started to teach a year later and um, uh, yeah have been studying and teaching ever since. I lived in Denmark for two years to do my educations um, and go really deep into um, practice and being part of a community and just offering every moment of my life to uh, the spiritual path. And um, uh, returned back to Berlin at one point and uh, taught there as a senior teacher in the, in the yoga school for a long time. Uh, I started somehow as a firm atheist. Uh, science was my go-to for truth. Always good to start your spiritual path as an atheist. <laughs> yes, it gives a nice twist <laughs> to the whole process. So yes, this was my twist and I was uh, good in holding arguments and so forth. So I was quite on with atheism and with uh, not believing anything mystical or spiritual. Um, but I was searching already from pretty young, 15, 16, for the meaning of life and was doing all sorts of techniques, Alexander Method and Craniosacral and so forth, all sorts of techniques already, uh, some kind of consciousness techniques already as a teenager. I had the realization without having a very clear spiritual system or an entity, supreme entity or something, but I had the feeling that that which I'm searching for is the most important thing. And uh, the money and society and friends and relationships, they all come on the second place. And there is something supreme that I'm searching for. 
And that's the only thing that makes sense. Everything makes sense in the context of that. And I went through hell, a small hell, but hell, because I had no friends and no community. I had one or two friends that could bear a half an hour conversation with me once or twice a month about these issues. But not my parents, not my family, not my friends, and definitely not a teacher had shared the same interest. I mean, they were teenagers, they were interested in teenage things. And I just wanted to speak about, but what's the meaning of life? What's the purpose of life? What's this universe about? I'm getting the feeling that the story is different. And it was, um, it was quite an inner conflict inside of me because I really wanted that and I didn't know what that is. And I also wanted to just have friends but I couldn't have the superficial conversation. So it was a very difficult few years, and I'm very grateful for the one or two spiritual friends that I had at the time. And then I reached India. I'm Israeli, and Israelis, they just go to India after the army. You, you, you're not really sure why. You just you finish the army, you buy a plane ticket, and you go to India, which the army gives you some money when you finish, which I did. I was not necessarily waiting to find something very spiritual in India, but I just thought, okay, it's a cheap, long vacation, you know, I can go to one month to Europe or one year to India with the same money, so I went to India. And after a couple of weeks in India, I found this spiritual school, and then I met more people who are interested in this, and I met teachers who can teach me about this. And I had notebooks on notebooks of all my spiritual thoughts. My notebook was my best friend where I could pour my ideas. And then I saw how the teachers in this Atman Federation, how they would put my confused ideas in very clear charts yes, and connect. <clears throat> yeah. And connect the body parts, the chakras, the emotions, because I could feel and I would meditate a lot in a very chaotic way but I could feel energy flow and how particular energy flow creates certain emotional states and certain mental states and I, I had my own names for it which was very confused but you know just trying to systemize it and then when I saw those charts I said yeah that makes sense that that is and I checked my notes and this is just it just made so much sense and then they gave me tools and breathing exercises to alter my inner state. I could feel the energy already by myself, but I couldn't do anything about it. And then it's okay, if you, if you flip your body that way and you breathe like that, once you flip your body that way, you see? And I was like, yeah, I can totally feel that. And then all these like negative states of loneliness, of fear, of anxiety, of depression, which I was experiencing uh, pretty intensely before, I could do these uh, techniques from Tantra Yoga and my inner state would shift. And I was like, this is, where have you been all my life? And we somehow discovered each other you know, on, this, uh, on this teaching front. We were lovers um, very wonderfully and very intensely for about a year and a half. And then we started to give a few workshops together in, uh, in Berlin and it really clicked somehow after when, a year that was yeah, yeah. after a year we had uh, we started writing our first workshop together and the whole room was sparkling yeah. it was just uh, like a really a match in heaven and we just complete each other's sentences and integrate the view i mean we were both on the path already for more than a decade and just dedicating our entire life for the path and many hours of practice and of Kama Yoga and of community life and just living in ashrams for more than a decade and very, very intense. I choose the practice which fits me and which I am enthusiastic about. Or there are techniques I've always been fascinating, fascinated by growing in love and becoming more loving. It's wonderful to love, but it's even more wonderful to love more and to love much, much more. And that... I somehow put it as a destination that every month and every year I will become more loving. So
So I do techniques every day, sometimes for half an hour, sometimes for an hour, to amplify the intensity of love. And when I met Blandine, I loved her very much. Well, now six, uh, six years ago, six more than half. six and a half. But now I love her much more. So she entered my room this uh, this morning and she was prepared for the filming and she had her hair It combed. was before I prepared for the filming. I looked very funny. She considered <laughs> that she looked funny. I considered that she looked just amazing. And just the intensity of love is incomparable. Yeah, for Most people, if you don't do anything about it, in the beginning of relationship you have a peak of love and then that reduces and then maybe you go in plateau or maybe you break up. But, I mean, we both actively bring love. And these techniques, they work hands-on. You do half an hour a day to become more loving, you become more loving. I'm more loving with my mother, I'm more loving with my friends, I'm more loving with my students, with my teachers, with life. And of course, particularly, it's very visible in the couple relationship. And it, it is, I mean, for me, it is the supreme fulfillment to be loving. And the fact that this, this school gives a technique that makes you more loving intensely and with measurable results, it's, it's a tremendous, uh, is a tremendous gift. And this is somehow why I chose this path. So maybe in the end we can uh, share how you guys can sign up if you want to. So we currently offer online courses for you and you can uh, find our events um, on the online yoga academy.com that is right or and you can find on our tantra yoga chiang mai or masida yoga thailand you can find it uh, there as well the information mm -hmm. and if you eventually um, come around to a live event here in thailand with us um, in our beautiful retreat center we'd be delighted to have you over for a retreat or two um, you can find us on facebook uh, as uh, tantra yoga chiang mai uh, on facebook so yeah, that's how you can reach us and uh, we hope we see you soon.